Hi, folks. This is Steve Tarelmas again, uh, Practice Lead with XBM. Today, I've got with me David Mitchell, who is one of our senior consultants. We're going to take a quick video here and tell you a little bit about the difference between Jira work management and Jira software. So as you may know, Atlassian has recently repurposed an old product called Jira Core and turned it into what they're calling Jira work management. And it's part of their work management for all uh, process that they're trying to implement for non-software or non-agile or non-DevOps teams. So I'm going to start off and talk just really high level about the costs around this tool. And then David's going to uh, show you a little bit of a difference between like a Jira work management project and a Jira software and what, what each one does differently. So when you're licensing Jira work management, uh, the cost for Jira work management is significantly cheaper than software, uh, Jira software by about half. Uh, they only have a standard product out right now. They don't have a premium product. Uh, and so it's about 440 per user, but that changes depending on how many users you have. And of course, with all the Lassian licensing, you can do either monthly or annual if you want to. The other thing to note that is in Jira software, which as you can see is a little bit more pricey, uh, this is really important. Jira work management currently comes with Jira software. So if you're paying for Jira software already, you have Jira work management. The pricing for Jira work management is really only for people that don't want Jira software and just want Jira work management. So included in Jira software is, uh, is Jira work management. So that's really uh, all I wanted to say about the difference between the two from a licensing standpoint. And of course, if you have any licensing questions at all, reach out to us at xbm.com. We can help you uh, manage all your licenses. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to David, and David's going to talk a little bit more about the uh, ground level and the differences between the two. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Um, first, let's talk a little bit about the audiences that these products are for. Um, Jira software, you know, when do we use Jira software versus Jira work management? Jira software, you use that when you're needing development type of features like Scrum boards, Kanban boards, you need integrations with tools like Bitbucket. Um, also with the, the Jira software product, it's a little bit more technical in terms of be able, being able to customize it down to the nth degree. So people that are really technical and want to have more control are going to um, prefer, you know, go towards Jira software for those purposes. Jira work management, on the other hand, is... Um, it's more designed to be an out of the box turnkey solution that can help teams get productive right away. So we're going to take, um, let's take a look at some of the differences here. Um, first of all, so your, your work management projects show up here in the, in the projects list, just like all the rest, we can refine this down to here. We have this sample here. To look yeah, and this at. is an important note because Jira work management, of course, is collaborative with all other Jira products. So you can link projects together with issue types and things like that, like you can with any other Jira project. Mm -hmm. And if you have uh, Jira software and you have advanced roadmaps, advanced roadmaps does look at all the projects in your instance as well. We've had that question before. So quickly, we'll just look over here on the left and the left hand nav. Uh, work management projects have a board. It's a very simple board. Um, it, the, the columns are based on your, the statuses in your workflow. Uh, it's not highly customizable. It doesn't have scrum and Kanban features in it, but it's just, it's just a simple task board. There's also this list view that's very much like a spreadsheet type of a view. And you can do inline editing here in this, almost like you're in a spreadsheet. A lot of people like this view. It's really easy. It's really basic. It's so it's intuitive. Uh, there's the calendar view that shows your items on the calendar. Uh, timeline, this is a basic timeline. It's sort of similar to a road mapping feature, uh, but it's, it's more basic, but it's useful if the team needs it. There's forms here, allows you to create custom forms if you want to, uh, if you want to create a simple form and, uh, and get a link to it and share that with your users and have them use a form to create items in your project. In terms of features, that, that's, that covers it. But um, let's look at some examples, some other better examples here. Um, what Atlassian has done with these, there's a lot of templates for work management projects, and they're not just, uh, they didn't create those just for the purpose of throwing a bunch of templates at you. They're very carefully put a lot of thought into these and created workflows and uh, 
that are designed to help you get productive immediately from the ground. Um, yeah, one of the big differences between Jira Work Management and Jira Software, Jira Work Management has a lot more templates that are specifically targeted toward work management teams. Jira Software has three templates out of the box. But don't forget, as an admin project, all of these are configurable too. Right. So um, as you can see, this is a web design process project, and you can see that on the task board here, the statuses of the workflow. This is a workflow of statuses unique to that. Um, that process. Um, one thing that's interesting that I want to point out before we wrap this up, and this will probably be the last thing, is uh, work management projects, when you create them, tend to default to being a team managed project. So oftentimes the question is, what can I do in terms of configuration with work management projects? Is, is there any difference? Well, that has to do with um, whether it's a team managed project or not. This is the project settings in team managed project and a company managed project. You've got all of the same things that you do in any, any other company managed project. So um, to that question, can we do the same things with that project? It depends on whether it's a team managed or company managed project. Right. Yeah. That's something you want to think about definitely from a scalability standpoint from a governance standpoint, are you building your projects as team projects, which are gonna have much, much less uh, configuration available versus the admin. Mm -hmm. Of course, the trade-off is that the uh, the company or the admin-based projects, you have to work with an admin in order to have those reconfigured or changed. Whereas the team, team projects, you can manage yourself. So, great. Well, thanks, David. Um, so really what we found is that uh, user uh, experience is, is one of the big differences between Jira software and Jira work management. As David showed, the Jira work management has a number of user experience visuals, uh, UI pages that are a little bit different than what you may typically see in a Jira software project. Uh, however, a Jira software project uh, the board is much more configurable. You can change the cards, you can do quick filters, you can have all of those nice features that you may be used to having on a Kanban or a Scrum board uh, in Jira software. One final note is that both of these tools are configurable to your needs, which means that if you are not a software team, you can still use a Jira software project type uh, because you can just configure it to whatever your team needs. Sometimes we have, mar like for example, a marketing team. Sometimes marketing teams prefer Jira work management based on the UI, UX uh, that they can get there. Sometimes uh, marketing teams prefer Jira software because they like the configurability of the boards and other features that they get there too. So, mm -hmm. so that's it. We just wanted to give you guys a quick run through of the differences between the two. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, reach out to us at xbm.com and we would be happy to help you out with this or any other thing that you need. Thanks for listening.